and welcome back to Two Minutes with the VA. Our question today is from Heather, and Heather wants to know, she has a loaded question. She wants to know, she says she's just starting up her business and all this good stuff, and she's researching and writing a business plan. She wants to know how much it's going to cost to start up a VA business. Oh, Heather. <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's, I say this on here a lot, but it's going to depend. Um, it's going to depend on what you have in your office now. I'll tell you, again, it's going to depend on what you're going to offer too. But sit down. What I would do in, in your case, because you're writing a business plan, which, which I love. Thank you, thank you, thank you for writing a business plan. You just made my day. Um, sit down and figure out what equipment you have and what equipment you need to buy, what equipment is going to need to be upgraded within the first year. If it needs to be upgraded, I would go ahead and factor that in. Uh, you're going to need a computer, a monitor. Some people are able to work from laptops. I find that I work a lot slower from a laptop, and I don't think that does me or my, my clients any, any good. Um, having said that, I do bookkeeping, so I actually have two big dual screens and you know, this whole big setup. Um, Figure out, you know, your hardware. For me, I have to have a, a printer. I also have to have a separate printer to print checks on that have Maker Ink. Um, I will give a big, big, big shout out to my Fujitsu Scan Snap, which I absolutely love. In fact, I hear there's a new model out. Um, in fact, I know there's a new model out that I keep looking at and trying to decide if I want to upgrade it. Um, I'm really coming up with a good reason that I need to upgrade it. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, so look at that. Also, the uh, I have a Dymo twin turbo printer thing because I wanted to be able to print my own postage from Indisha, Indisha or whatever, stamps.com or Indisha. Um, and for me, the reason I invested that in the postage printer is because it saves me time at the post office. I don't know about you, but my post office here, it's like a freaking 30 minute wait to mail a letter or to buy stamps. So now I don't have to do that anymore. I just print my own stamps. Um, I'm trying to think, you know, it's, those are like the basic office things. And I actually do do a lot of mailing, um, not for clients, but just for myself. And it's nice, you know, it's cost me 15 bucks a month or whatever. Uh, so software, it depends on what you're offering. Um, most people are going to need some sort of a business suite, such as a uh, word or Excel. You can always start out with some, with uh, open office. And you know what? I used open office only for years. Um, I love open soft, soft, open source software. You know, if you're a graphic designer, you're obviously going to need something like Photoshop, whereas me as a bookkeeper, I need QuickBooks. So make a big list of all these things that you need and then put a price beside them and, and you know, go from there. The other startup cost that a lot of EAs miss is your capital. So whenever you're just starting, it's not like you're going to open your doors and all of a sudden you're going to have money coming in, right? So you need to figure out how much money you're going to need for, I would say, the first year at very least. Pretend that you get no clients for a year. How much is the drop dead amount that you're going to have to have to live on? Um, and factor that in as well. I think that's important to put that into your business plan as well. All right, I hope that answers your question a little bit. Like I said, I can't give you a hard dollar figure. It's just impossible. Depends on what you have and what you're willing to and what you need to buy. All right, have a great day.